Okay, it's finally sunny here in Montreal, and for some reason that's making me chatty. So I decided to go ahead and try and make up and do one more of the stories that I owed us, and I chose the topic cognitive bias. Um, how do I get into my story of cognitive bias? A couple years ago, I decided that I was going to write a book. I was going to write a book on social media, and some of the things that I had been seeing in social media over the years as I've been working on a bunch of different campaigns, some in New York, some in DC, and had a lot of notions about why people shared, when they shared, what they shared about, what drove them to do different things. <clears throat> so I started thinking about cognitive bias, and let me read really quickly what Wikipedia has to say about cognitive bias. A cognitive bias refers to a semantic pattern or deviation from Norm or rationality in judgment, whereby inferences about other people and situations may be drawn in an illogical fashion. Individuals create their own subjective social reality from the perceptions of the input, and an individual's constructions of social reality, not the objective input, may indicate the behavior in the social world. Thus, cognitive biases may sometimes lead to the per perceptual distortion inaccurate judgment, illogical interpretation, or as what broadly is called irrationality. <clears throat> so what does that mean? It means we all are, all of our vantage point is truth. We all know what true is, but each one of us has a different vantage point. <clears throat> so I started working on this book. And I needed a context for talking about it. So I started thinking about social media within advertising strategy or marketing strategy. And then I started thinking about advertising strategy as a larger whole. The deeper I dug in, what I realized it was all based on cognitive bias. I mean, if you, what are some cognitive biases? Um, looking through the list right now. Anchoring cognitive bias. This is one of my favorite. This is what the um, advertising planner is always looking for. This tendency to rely too heavily or anchor one trait or piece of information when making decisions. And this is usually the first piece of information that we acquire on that subject. So if you're a really good advertising planner, you go out and you dig and you dig enough to find a way of presenting something to the public that they've never constructed in that way. So that becomes the kernel of truth that everything else then needs to be refuted against. So that's always a really important bias to play in when you're doing advertising strategy. Now, the second part of advertising strategy is you have to sell that, that big concept you came in to, to the client. So then you start working on a whole different set of cognitive biases um, let me see, look down my list, confirmation bias, the tendency to search, interpret, focus, or remember information in a way that confirms one's preconceptions. So if I'm a good planner, not only do I come up with a good story that explains the people, I explain it to my client in a way that it plays into the things that they already believe as well. So now I've successively worked two sets of cognitive biases. Now, if I'm really, really, really successful, then I get a bunch of creatives brought in and they start bringing in their cognitive biases. And then we create a campaign that work, plays hopefully on some cognitive biases of somebody else way out there. The book didn't really go anywhere. Um, I realized that the entire industry was just based on playing into humans as gullible monkeys. I mean, we are storytellers. We are people that want to believe. We tell ourselves story every day. I think I told that in one of the very first stories in this whole storytelling project is we're amazing at telling ourselves stories. We're amazing at believing things. We're amazing at believing those things that are around us. Now, this week, I just want to toss in something completely tangentially and probably not part of the story, but it kind of got me thinking. Locusts. Locusts are 
a breed of grasshoppers that normally they're fine. They're just grasshoppers doing grasshopper things. But when certain conditions arise, too much food overpopulation, there begins to be enough of them that they get sort of a mass hysteria and actually morph into something else that can swarm and become crazy and not act like the species that it is. It pushes their species much further into other places and then when the population dies down a little bit, they become a little bit less crazy. If we look at humans and the density and the social media and the talking and the cognitive bias and the flaming and the this and the that and the left and the right, I think there's a little bit of a mass hysteria that we're all different. We all believe different things. We all think different ways. And it's mainly because we're whipping ourselves into this frenzy with cognitive bias. So in the end, the book went away. Didn't write the book. A couple years later, somebody came to me and they said, Toby, you know, why did you leave advertising strategy and you know, what are you doing now? And I said, well, I decided that I really wanted to make something for a living rather than just make stuff up. Because in the end, I think that's a lot better for us as a people. So now I make shit. And that's my story on cognitive dissonance.